Hello, and welcome to Merax Oats Reviews and How-Tos. Uh, my name is Brian. Right off the bat, I just want to say that this video is a tutorial of how to share pictures and videos you've taken on your smartphone uh, to your TV. So if that's what you're looking for, then you've found the video that you need. As the title of this video indicates, I'll only be showing how to share media from an Android device, uh, but I am also making a similar video for iOS devices, uh, which you can watch, I think, up here in the cards, or I think that's where it's at, uh, or you can watch it uh, from the link in the video description. Uh, okay, I think uh, that's enough uh, introduction for now. Uh, let's do it. Thanks to the plethora of smart TVs and other smart devices out there like uh, the Chromecast, Fire TV, and Roku devices, uh, as well as game consoles like the Xbox One, which connect to our TVs, sharing media to your TV is now easier than ever on Android. Uh, unlike five years ago when I made my original video, I feel it's a pretty safe bet that you're going to have at least one of these devices connected to your TV already, uh, which is going to make casting your pictures and videos super simple. I think it goes without saying, but I just want to be very clear. Uh, you need to have your smart TV or smart device like a Chromecast or whatever uh, connected to your home network. You must also have your smartphone connected to your home network in order to cast your photos and videos to your TV. I think most people already understand this, uh, but again, I just want to be very clear. So Android does have some baked in functionality for casting media uh, from your phone to your TV and I will be showing that in this video, but because of the whole array of Android devices out there, uh, using this functionality varies from device to device, so first up I want to show you a universal way that should work on most any Android device out there. So uh, let's hop on over to the Google Play Store and uh, download an app called cast to tv made by InShot. The free version of this app is laden with some very intrusively annoying ads, but you can permanently remove the ads for a mere $4 or purchase the pro version that unlocks all the app's features for five bucks. And no, I am not sponsored by or affiliated with the makers of this app. It's just simple to use and works great. With it being free to use though, you can try it out for yourself and see if you think it's worth purchasing. Once we've got the cast to tv app installed onto our device, all we have to do is launch the app. Uh, it will search for devices on our network. Here is one of those very intrusive ads that I told you about. Once the app is launched, you should end up with a list of devices on your network that you can cast to. As you can see here, I've got my Dish Network Hopper, a Chromecast Ultra, a Roku Steam Streaming Stick Plus, uh, believe it or not, this is a Apple TV right here, the living room AirPlay. Uh, then we've got our Yamaha receiver, Dish Network Joey, Fire TV Stick, another Joey, uh, old original Chromecast, and then our Xbox One. You'll of course want to choose whichever device it is that you want to cast to. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I am going to choose my Xbox One. By default, it drops us here into the video menu. And what you're gonna wanna do is come up here and if you wanna share a photo, you can uh, tap photo. And uh, for the purpose of this video, let's just do this one right here. And it will begin playing on my Xbox. And then I can scroll through my pictures here to something else and it will switch to the, that particular thing. Now, if we we're wanting to cast a video, we will come up here, we are gonna hit video and uh, navigate to our videos and I'm gonna choose this one here that my daughter shot of our dog. And it should start playing here. There we go. Using an app like Cast the TV makes sharing your media to the big screen super easy. But uh, like I mentioned earlier in the video, there is built-in functionality for this on many Android devices. So I'm going to now show you how that works. With your phone and smart device of your choice connected to your network, to cast a picture to your TV, all you need to do is go to the picture you wanna share, 
hit this little icon up on the top of your screen and then choose the device you want to share your picture to. As you can see here, I can share to my Dish Network Hopper, my Xbox One, my Yamaha receiver, or even my Chromecast. Uh, if you have a Roku or Fire TV, uh, those devices should show up on this list as well. Uh, tap the device you want to share to and boom, you're done. There is one little caveat I feel that I should mention uh, when you're ca trying to cast to like a Dish Network receiver, uh, like right here, you will have to take your Dish Network remote and you have to grant access to the device to cast to it. But once you do that, you are good to go. Now, my phone is a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, and I know that not all Android phones are the same, uh, so I tried using my old Galaxy S6 and S4 to see if the process is the same. And for the most part it is, but I wanna show you how those devices handle it, so just in case your phone doesn't quite work the same as mine, uh, one of these examples will hopefully help you figure out how your particular phone does this. On my Galaxy S6, I had to tap the share icon at the bottom of the screen and then tap view content on TV, which then brought up my list of available devices to share to. My S4 was more similar to the S9 where I just tapped this icon here and then my list of devices came up. Unfortunately, I don't have any LG or HTC or other Android devices I can try this with, so hopefully one of these examples will help you figure out yours uh, if it is different. As for sharing video, the built-in functionality we enjoyed with photos doesn't really carry over. Uh, on my Galaxy S9 Plus, I was only able to cast video by screen mirroring my phone to my streaming devices. Uh, it worked perfectly to my Chromecast and Roku Streaming Stick Plus, but mirroring to my Fire TV Stick 4K, well, that didn't work. According to information I found online, on older models of the Fire TV, screen mirroring is an option you can enable within the Fire TV settings. However, for some reason, Amazon has chosen not to include this feature on their latest Fire TV lineup. I wasn't able to cast video to my Xbox or satellite receiver either. So in order to share my videos to those devices, the easiest way I've found is to just use the Cast to TV app. And that, my friends, is the end of the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please click the like button before you go. Uh, share it with your friends. And if you have a question, please hit me up in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you there. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos from me. And if you'd like to help support me in my efforts to make more videos like this, uh, please check out my Amazon store where you can pick up things I feature in my videos uh, like the Fire TV or Roku streaming sticks I used in this video. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to hanging out again in another video. We'll see you later.